Yes, dear. <laughs> Howdy, friends, and welcome to The Average J. Oh, I bit my tongue. Ow. Oh. <laughs> That's gotta hurt. Yeah, that wasn't good. It is Tuesday, so no tag Tuesday. Mm -hmm. I think we've explained it to death. Yeah. I think we're good. <laughs> this week's questions are from Doug. All right. Joan at Jones, Joan, uh, Jones Point of Plate uh, had responsibility for the questions, and she let Doug make the questions, right. which is fantastic. And these are just random any question tags. Okay. I like random. Yeah, they're pretty <laughs> cool. So, let's just get into it. If you could visit anywhere in the USA, where would it be? Okay, me first. Well, yeah. we've been doing some traveling. We have. You know, we've traveled a lot years, in the last couple of years. You know, especially road tripping traveling. Yeah, you like know? in the car, going yeah, places, so, not just fly over. So, so, you know, we drove out to California and back, so I, I've done that. You know, did I see everything? No, I'd love to see Mount Rushmore and stuff like that, but Hoover Dam we missed. But I think what, where I saw like, the Grand Canyon. I did see the Grand Canyon, but where I'd like to go see in the United States, Hawaii. I'd Absolutely. love to go to Hawaii. I like warm. I like tropical. You know, mm -hmm. don't want Maine. Don't want snow. <laughs> I, I've gotten to spend some time in Hawaii with the Air Force, where we were supposed to just travel through, and our plane mm -hmm. broke mm -hmm. twice, and I got like yeah. three days the first time, and I got like three days the second time. Nice. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So. <laughs> Jelly. I know. And if I could visit any place, you would just mention it, Mount Rushmore. Um, the Dakotas and Montana. I'd like to go up into that part. It's like the one part of the country I've never been to. That and Maine. Yeah, yeah. You know, but I've been to everywhere else. I mean, I've been to the Pacific Northwest. I've yeah. been through Washington and Portland and, you know, all the way up to Maine. I've been in Vermont and New Hampshire and all. I just never made it to Maine. Yeah. So, really, I've only haven't been to, like, I think, five states but oh my god you should make a map yeah I know. <laughs> where but i've been i would go up to you know there okay uh number two if you could visit anywhere in the world where would it be okay so you know my heritage is half italian half mm -hmm. i guess french maybe it's my dad <laughs> i don't even know <laughs> <laughs> but um a lot of people would say you know italy sicily yeah no i want to go to like england Scotland, England. Big Ben, Better. Parliament. Yeah. <laughs> Big Ben, Parliament, yes. <laughs> National Lampoons. Yeah. You got the reference. Michelle got I a pop did. culture reference. Oh, my God. I got that's that awesome. movie, yeah. So, <laughs> so. all right. Yeah. Um, for me, anywhere in the world, it's going to be China. I've, I've spent a lot of time over in Asia Pacific, you know, between the trips to Guam. Um, I've been through Japan and South Korea and I think if I could pick any place, it would be China, maybe Beijing. Or, and you, you have know. not been there. I have not been okay. to China, you know. So that's fine because you like Japan, you know. I love all of Asia, yeah, you know. Yeah, but yeah. Um, I'm fascinated by the culture. I truly yeah. am. So mm -hmm. I know Asia is not the direction you wanted to go, no. but you know, I, <laughs> I like that. Uh, number four, no three. Who do you think is the world's most influential person? Oh, I want to go first on this. One. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I'm going to say, and this is not political, this is not good, bad, or indifferent. All I'm saying is the influence that the person has. Donald Trump. Okay. Because people that love him are still living their lives for him and, and advocating for him. The people that hate him are still trying to burn him, even though he's been outside of office. But what his influence has been, good, bad, or indifferent, is still so polarizing and is affecting worldwide events. Still so to this day. I still to this day yeah. think it is. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, like I said, I'm not making an opinion good, bad, or different. I'm just saying I right. think that Donald Trump still has significant influence over people. Yeah. And it's a shame because you'd like to say, you know, the Pope, Jesus, you know, all those people would have influence. Well, I took that as meaning, like, who's still alive. Alive? Okay. Well, so well, that's how I answer it. Otherwise, yeah, Jesus, but. Yeah, right? <laughs> um. But I'm going to say, because we did talk about this, and Dr. Fauci, yeah. I, think he, I think he has a lot of influence on the world, you know, mm. whatever standards or whatever he says about what goes on here in the States can resonate through the world. It goes via him to the CDC, to the World right. Health Organization. Right. True. Very but true. I, I, just a disclaimer, though, he's just an individual <coughs> person, but 
actually, I think the media machine yeah. has a huge influence yeah. on the world. I agree. I don't just I don't discount yeah. that. Um, number four. What's the worst movie you ever watched? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll go with this one. Okay. Um, the the very first movie. Now, granted, there's a lot of bad movies out there. There are, you know. But the first one that came to my mind when I heard that question was, was it the Human Centipede? Yeah, that was gross. <laughs> that was a doctor stitches people together. Subject matter and how they perform, and, and it was and just just yeah. awful. <laughs> so yeah. Now for me, worst movie I ever watched. Um, this would be a very debatable thing because it wound up having like seven or eight sequels or nine sequels. It made billions of dollars. Fast and the Furious. Uh, I watched the first one. I never watched one after that because the first one to me was so bad. It's everybody is cool and has cars and is strong and beat each other up. And <laughs> I, I didn't even really get much. I know there was kind of a story in there, but it, I think it just relied so much on the action mm -hmm. that there was no the story. Cars, and everybody, yeah. everybody tried to outstar each other yeah you know so i i just i didn't like it. i thought it was probably the dumbest movie ever made yeah so <laughs> uh number five how often do you listen to music okay every day <laughs> every, every day. day for a lot of the day yeah you know at least an hour in the morning and then housework throughout the day but um it's funny because i would just use like you know little app free apps on my phone but just recently <laughs> We added Amazon Music Unlimited. So, music Unlimited, because yeah. so, Michelle I, I loves her music. Yeah, I do. So I work for <coughs> Amazon, so I figured, why not? <laughs> and me, I don't listen to music except for when I go to bed. Um, I'll mm -hmm. put headphones in. Um, I put, like, real loud, fast techno okay. music because it's a very set rhythm and it helps me fall asleep. All right. Um, have you ever been in an accident and was it your fault? Okay, I did have to reach back in my uh, memory banks for this one, but high school, I just got my driver's license, I just got my car, and I drove to school, parked it, and I guess two kids really parked really close to me, so as I was backing out of my parking spot, I scratched <laughs> a classmate's car, and he was not happy about it. Man. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, I've been in an accident. It was not my fault. Um, I was at a stoplight. I had just gotten done work. Um, it was about three miles from the house. And um, girl not paying attention on her phone. Just totally not paying attention. A full-size Ford Econoline van uh, hit me from behind going about 40-some miles an hour. Because the speed limit on the road was 45. And she didn't see she was coming up to a light or that she it was red and that I was parked there. And she pushed me. And thank God the person coming the other way and, that, yeah. and it was a dump truck. He was paying attention because I did something you're never supposed to do with a light. If you're making a left, don't turn your wheel while the light is turned. Because if somebody hit you, it's going to push you in that direction. And that's what happened. I had my wheel turned ahead of time, anticipating the turn. And when I got hit, it pushed my car in the direction my wheel was turned and pushed me right in front of an oncoming dump truck. And he was a great driver and, and avoided it. But um, messed my back up pretty bad. So number seven, have you ever been admitted to a hospital? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> three times. Three, three C section in the, uh, sections in the very least, but... <laughs> Yeah, when I was a teenager, I was Oh, and you had your surgery. Yep, yeah, on my back. Yep. And uh, the only time I've ever been admitted to a hospital... Do mental hospital count? Oh. No, I'm just okay. joking with that. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, uh, two years ago, or three years ago, three years ago, two years ago. God, I don't even remember how many years now. Um, I thought I had a heart attack. And Michelle mm -hmm. took me to the hospital, and I wound up in there for three days and two nights. And they ran a whole bunch of tests. That's how I found out I had emphysema, was mm -hmm. from the CAT scan. Yep. <laughs> They're like, uh, okay, we do have something interesting for you. So I didn't find it quite interesting, but. Yeah. <laughs> uh, number eight, what would you do if you didn't need to work? Well, I'd work on a home, uh, just a homestead, you know, a small farm. 
that's all I want. Give me like 20 acres, you know, a couple cows, some pigs, my chickens, mm -hmm. and a big garden to just work on all day. That would be my dream. If I didn't have to work, that's what I would do. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm <coughs> along the same lines as you. I'm a very outdoorsy person. I'd rather be outside than inside. Um, but yeah, anything landscaping, flowers, just sitting by a fire pit <laughs> or sunbathing, whatever the case may be. I like to be just outside. Just be outside. Yeah. I gotcha. Um, what website do you visit the most? It For, for me, it's <laughs> YouTube. I mean, I watch the YouTube same. all the time. But if, if you had to pick like a non-social media, for me it's going to be ESPN. I, I plug on there quite a few times a day to see what's going on, like standings and sports and stuff like that, and who's hurt and whatever. So mm -hmm. it's, it's strictly YouTube. Strictly YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Aside from YouTube, I play Animal Crossing. There's a really yeah, and that's only... a game. That's yeah, an no, app. That's not a it's site. It's not a website. So. Yeah, so. Uh, number 10, what's your most used social media? I, I'd say YouTube. Yeah, okay. You know, that's how I get word. I don't use Facebook hardly at all. Mm -hmm. When I do, it's just stuff that you and I do. It's not yeah. my own personal thing. I don't post anything. It's just kind of like something that happened to us. I don't use it for opinions or anything like that, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. I'm very, I play all my opinions very close to the chest. I, you know, mm -hmm. I'm not a jump on board for, you know, letting people know where I stand on a lot of things, you know, and that's intentional. <laughs> you know, yeah. um, you know, I'm in the military. It's my job to remain completely neutral, not one way or the other on anything. So mm -hmm. I don't jump on. I don't have an. I don't do Instagram. I don't do uh, tic, TikTok. TikTok. Um, <laughs> I don't do um, Snapchat. Well, the only Snapchat is our daughter Stephanie right, if right. she sends a, a mm -hmm. picture of like our grandkid. That's the only time I jump on that. What's the other one? The oh, Twitter. I don't, I don't have a Twitter. Mm -hmm. No. I don't tweet. No, I I don't. No, I, and I'm the same way. Facebook, yeah. I'll, I'll check it like in the morning, yeah. see if you know what's going on and stuff. But yeah, other than that, no, n none of it. <laughs> and that's going to do it. So, thank you very much to uh, Doug uh, at Jones Point of Plate uh, for making those questions. Joan, thanks for getting Doug involved in that. I thought that was nice. The questions were great. Uh, I enjoyed them. And if you want to be a part of the No Tag Tooth, you reach out to anybody that's in the group listed below. All the sites that do it are listed down below. Take a look. Let somebody know, either myself or any of the others, that you want to participate regularly. And we'll get you involved. But thanks very much for watching. Like, subscribe. Have a great day.